So, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and it inspired me to collect the best romance mods for Stardew Valley. As we're all patiently waiting for the 1.6 update, the modding community has not been idle. Each of these mods add more dialogue, cutscenes, and even sometimes brand new characters to fall in love with. With these, you definitely won't be lonely this Valentine's Day. Let's jump right in. First up is the incredible looking for love. This mod adds a ton of new bachelor and bachelorette options from the vanilla game and even allows you to marry some of the older NPCs such as Pam and Gus. There are also more heart events specific to each character and your spouse even gets their own dedicated room. On top of that, your children resemble your spouse more than ever before. Looking for love also adds in sprites so that the marriage and flower dance animations flow naturally with the rest of the townsfolk. This is definitely one to try out if you feel like things are getting a bit too repetitive. I also notice that your spouse rarely showcases your romantic bond after marriage, except for the occasional comment of course. I just wish there were more cutscenes with them, you know. After the 14th event, that's pretty much that until now. Introducing the date night mod. This mod contains a bunch of generic dates that would suit any spouse and there are even some unique spouse specific dates to enjoy as well. Since it's actually Valentine's Day soon, make sure to show some love to the people who love you. Have you ever felt that it's strange that after 8 hearts, your crush suddenly falls madly in love with you? The True Love Valley introduces around 200 and 50 new lines of dialogue to make our love interests fall in love with us more gradually over time. If you want to commit even harder to playing Stardew Valley like the dating sim it was always meant to be, you really need to try this one out. 11 out of 10 would gradually fall in love again. Married life in Stardew Valley can be pretty sweet, but do you ever feel bad for the Stardew Valley sweethearts that just can't seem to ever tie the knot. With the life cycle rival hearts events, you can watch love unfold in the valley around you. I'm talking new heart events, new schedules, and yes, you guessed it, actual NPC weddings. I had no idea how much I needed this one before actually playing it. It adds in an extra layer of immersion into the life cycle of the townsfolk, which is quite cool. Kind of makes you wonder if any couples would ever break up. Anyway, the best part, it's totally canon, right? We see couples like Haley and Alex or Penny and Sam go from shy admirers to saying I do. Assuming you didn't already marry Haley with the true love mod. Another nice mod for you to show your partner appreciation is the hugs and kisses mod. This mod allows your farmer the ability to show their affection. You have unlimited kisses with your spouse or even an NPC you are dating. Once you reach 5 hearts with an NPC, you are able to give them a hug. This is really cute and actually something I could imagine being a thing in a town like this. Married NPCs can give each other a kiss and roommates can hug as a sign of their friendship. No hugging before marriage, kids. The Robin romance mod needs no real introduction. Robin becomes a bachelorette of Pelican Town, while her uh, identical twin sister, also called Robin, is married to Demetrius. Now you too can experience the thrill and excitement of meeting Robin as someone who lives in the Stardew Mountain. Mountains, without breaking up her existing conical family. The Robins have updated schedules so they'll never run into their doppelgangers. I guess that tracks? What is better than having one spouse? Hear me out, hear me out. Everyone at the same time. With the multiple spouses mod, you can sow utter chaos in the valley. Just imagine the chaos you can create with this. Sounds like a dream come true, right? Clear out the town's inhabitants and show them the true value of community. You can also use this mod with the spouse room mod for an even better experience. Next, we have the 
reverse proposal mod. This one just mixes it up a little bit more and it's quite self-explanatory as well. Have you ever wished that your Stardew Valley crush proposed to you instead? I wonder how crazy this one could get with the multiple spouses mod. Anyway, it's a really cute one which earns it a spot on this list. If you've been playing Stardew Valley as a true love dating sim, this is a nice quality of life upgrade as well. Introducing the well tied titled Please Remember My Marriage mod. Since the town attends your wedding, they now comment on your marriage. This comes instead of forgetting it ever happened. Or even worse, continuing to randomly flirt with you. An appropriate amount of extra dialogue solves this problem pretty easily. Let's move on to some of the top NPC romance mods. The Luna Estray mod adds several new NPCs with new outfits and shops for smooth integration with the base game. Your children are also able to age. Neat. An NPC named Luna is the main focus of this mod. She has a mysterious past and claims to be from a world called Imui. I suspect she arrived through some sort of portal conjured up by old Magnus the wizard, since he is the one looking after her during her stay. For now, at least, discover Luna's thrilling story by romancing her and triggering her heart events and fall head over heels in love with her. You actually get the option to follow more than one storyline if you so choose. Say hey to Bianca and Raphael. This mod has a lot of depth so I definitely recommend this one if you're looking for some new characters to befriend and romance. In Stray Cat Fae, you can meet the twins Theo and Tabitha. They recently moved to Pelican Town so you can give them a warm farmer's welcome. The twins are dateable and have unique schedules, 5 new heart events each as well as new activities and over 300 lines of dialogue. The Stray Cat Fae also includes 2 new maps south of the bus stop and a new merchant that sells coffee, tea and baked goods at lower prices than Pierre and Gus. From their personalities to their sprites, the twins blend in very well with the residents of the valley. And if you can't decide between them, you can always load this one up alongside the multiple spouses mod. So there you have it, the top 11 romance mods for Stardew Valley. Another mod that deserves a special mention is Stardew Valley Expanded. This mod includes a whole new cast of new characters, events, dialogues, and so much more. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Stardew content, check out my weekly expanded stream. I'll definitely be adding some of the mods on this list to the stream, and I would love to have you there. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.